everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to finally be sitting down and actually talking to the camera and fil filming a real video. I've been doing lots of vlogs and cleaning style videos and stuff like that here lately. So I'm really excited to finally sit down and talk to you guys. Um, I mentioned in my last video that there are going to be changes to my channel um, and that's going to be the type of videos that I'm going to be putting out. My channel was solely like, well it wasn't solely, but it was mostly like beauty and makeup and stuff like that. And moving into 2018, I really want to just kind of change um, the content of my YouTube channel, I guess you could say. Um, I want to move more towards a kind of family, um, lifestyle, YouTube channel. <laughs> So with that being said, I mentioned that I would be doing some budgeting videos because in real life I am an accountant Monday through Friday. So the budget is a huge part of my husband and I's life. We pretty much live by the budget and I have found some great tips that have worked for us and I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. So if you're motivated in 2018 to start a budget, get your finances on track and just become financially stable and um, grow financially, then this video is for you. I have five budgeting tips that I'm going to be sharing today. If you guys are interested in seeing what those are, then just keep watching and we'll jump right into the video. My first tip is for those of you that are married or in a serious relationship with someone that you share financial responsibility with, it's super, super, super important for you and your spouse to be on the same page with the budget. If you have one person totally on board and the other isn't, then your budget is never going to work. You're not going to get anywhere financially and you're not going to be able to reach the goals that you have, you know, for 5, 10, 30 years down the road if you have one person who just isn't on board. So the most important thing is for you both to be on board because it's not going to work if you're not. My second tip is for you and your spouse or your partner or even just yourself if you're not married or in a relationship to, to have a goal, to have a purpose for wanting to get your finances on track and what financial goal do you have for yourself? Is it that you want to retire before the age of 50? Do you want to get all of your debt paid off? Do you want to cash flow and buy yourself a car? Do you want to cash flow and buy your next house? Like set a goal for yourself. So for David and I, we have so many like goals and hopes and dreams that revolve around our finances and we talk about it daily. So we talk about the future and we dream together and we have all of these goals that we want to accomplish by the age of 35 and some of those are like goals that people never accomplish in their lifetime and they may seem so out of reach but David and I have talked about it so much that it's like we can see it, we can taste it, like we are after it so we know that we need to stick by that budget in order to reach the goal. So having a goal or a purpose, a reason to do something is your motivation and it helps you stay on track and helps you actually follow the budget. My third tip is to make a plan and stick to it. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. It goes right along with the budget. If you have made a budget, you need to make sure that you stick to the budget. So if you have a plan drawn out in the beginning of the month, then make sure you stick to that plan. Make sure that you are following the budget and know that that $300 purse isn't in the budget this month. But you know, a year from now when you're completely debt free and you have your financial freedom, hey, that $300 purse, you can get it. Just remember that it is delayed gratification and that you have made a plan for a reason and stick to it. My fourth tip is to have a monthly budget meeting with your spouse or partner, significant other, or with yourself. So my husband and I sit down before the beginning of each month and we talk about all of our income and expenses and our plan for the month. So we will sit down and most of the time, you know, since I'm the accountant, I've already got the budget made up like six months in advance. So I will pull up my budget and I'll go through and I'll make sure I have every single bill that we'll have for 
that month or um, like trash. We pay that every three months, I think. So David reminds me, oh, we have trash this month. Um, we'll talk about if we have any doctor's appointments where we'll have co-pays or if we have any um, bills coming in that, you know, we need to account for. Um, if we have a birthday or just the small things that, you know, maybe one person knows but the other doesn't, we communicate all of our expenses for the month then and there before the month starts and puts them and we put them in the budget. So we do that every single month and it is awesome. Like it's a great time for us to also just sit down and talk about it. I mean, we talk about money daily, so it's not like it's a conversation like that we dread having. Like I said, we talk about our hopes and dreams and everything daily. So um, it's just a good time for us to come together and look at where we're at financially and where we're going to be and how great we're doing at right now. We're working on student loans, paying off student loans. So it's really awesome when we sit down at the end of each month and we see, you know, how much money we threw towards our student loans. It's also like a little small celebration for us because that's one step closer to financial freedom. So I highly recommend that you sit down and you make a plan, you make a budget, and you communicate with your spouse or just yourself. Like just seeing it, writing it out for yourself, you would not believe like the money that you will find that you are spending on the small things. So make sure that you write it down and you make a plan. Okay, Cooper wanted to join me for the fifth and final tip. So that is to use the resources that are available to you. Um, David and I use the budgeting app called Every Dollar, and it was created by Dave Ramsey, which I'm a huge fan of. I listen to him every single day, and he is the one that got me started on this journey to financial freedom. Uh, David and I's goal is to be completely debt-free by the age of, like, 35 and that includes our house. So with this app, it's really cool because when David and I sit down for our monthly budget meetings, we pull up the every dollar website on our computer and we go ahead and we plug everything into our budget for that month. So we log our income, our expenses, um, what we're going to spend on groceries, restaurants, all of our bills, everything. We log it into every dollar and we give every dollar a home. That is the goal to get it down to a zero based budget. So once we give every dollar a home, then we have our budget for the month. And then when we are out at the store or we make a purchase online or we go out to eat, we just log that into the app. We each have it on our iPhones and we use the same login. It's the exact same account that we can both access at the same time. So say we go out to eat. Um, we can just pull up the app and log in how much we spent. And then, you know, if we get towards the middle of the month and we run out of money in our restaurants category, then we know that we are not eating out anymore and that we will be staying home and cooking. So it's really awesome. It keeps you on track. It keeps your budget intact. So it definitely takes away the not knowing of bills. If your spouse is the one who pays most of the bills for you, then you don't have to constantly be like, hey, did you pay Vectrin? Did you pay the water? Did you pay the mortgage you can just get on your app and see that oh they've already made the payment because it's logged in every dollar um, so it's really cool David and I love that app and it has definitely made sticking to the budget so much easier and we really really like that so I highly recommend you guys check out that every dollar app it is incredible you can use it on your desktop or your phone and that's the saving grace for David and I, I would definitely say. So those are my five tips for budgeting. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Comment down below if you have any questions or if I didn't cover something well enough and you want to know more, just comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.